$2,230 weekly profit in commodities and futures trading based on COT report. Hello and welcome to Insider Week. My name is Max Schulz and in this video I am going to show you how I traded commodities and futures last trading week. I start with COT1 trading account. The account size is $878,000. Before we start with trading results from the last trading week, let's have a look at new design and new structure in our membership area. As you can see, the new structure was based on trading routine. We have weekly tasks. These tasks are required to create a watch list. We have 40 liquids futures markets and we have to choose maximum 10 markets and to set it on the watch list. So then we have daily activities. So the result of daily analysis is a trading plan for the next trading session. I analyze the markets from the watch list. I analyze daily trend. I analyze entry pattern, seasonal trend and so on. And if I have entry in this market, I create a trading plan. This trading plan includes entry price, price target, stop loss, position size. After that, I placed the orders by the broker. And if I have open positions, I have to manage the open positions. I have to ask myself, do I have to reduce the risk to move the stop loss or I have to close, for example, the position before the take profit? All these questions I have to ask myself by open positions. Also, very important is to create the trading statistic of all my trades and also in detail to describe my trades. This is a trading journal. This is the best trading book ever for you, your trading journal. Because end of the year, if you want to analyze your year, you want to analyze your best trades, your worst trades, you have to know why you opened a position, why you closed the position, all the, the details about your trades you have to know to complete your analyzing routine of your trades end of the year because you can learn a lot from that especially when you are in a drawdown so you try to understand what did you wrong in the past and for that one you have to analyze your past trades and for that one you need trading statistic and your trading journal and of course if you want to be ahead of the game if you want to be one of the best and if you want to win this game you have to educate yourself all the time or to take part in an education program for example we have a coaching program for all these tasks cut data analysis entry patterns and so on so if you don't have your own entry patterns you can take a part in our coaching program and we will show you all the techniques we use to trade based on cut data analysis let's have a look a short view of menu so if you click on cut signal you will get to COT map. Here you can make your COT data analysis and also weekly trend analysis and so on. So then you can see here my watch list of COT1 trading strategy. You can also create your own watch list. So also here I post my trading plan of COT1 trading strategy, the weekly trading plan. When I create a watch list, I explain why, why I choose this market uh, and uh, set it on the watch list and not the other one, for example. So also you can find here all my open trades on my COT1 trading account. So end of the week, I analyzed my past trades from the last trading week. This is very important to be sure I didn't any mistake, for example, and also to look what I can do better, for example, so you can learn a lot if you analyze your trades end of the week. And of course, coaching. For example, today we have coaching webinar. In this webinar, I explain in detail how I trade based on COT1 trading strategy. I hope you will enjoy the new structure and new design because the new structure will help you to understand my trading plan 
better and also to understand how I implement the CUT1 trading strategy on my CUT1 trading account. In this way, you can better learn from me how to trade futures based on CUT data analysis. Back to trading results. So let's have a look at CUT1 trading account. Weekly trading result is zero because I didn't close any trade. So I started in the last trading week with one open short position in soybean oil. So I have one short contract in this market. And during the week, so I opened a position in Canadian Dower, 33 short contracts. And also in Lean Hacks, also a short position with eight contracts, as you can see here on the right side. My watch list on the beginning was on the buy side, I had cotton, cocoa, and on the sell side, I had Canadian dollar, Australian dollar, soybean oil, cotton, and Lean Hacks. Let's start with soybean oil. If you have been watching my trading results week by week, you knew this position because I'm already four weeks in this short position. I traded here the signal before the last CUT signal. So, and as you can see, I also closed a part of position with a profit of $13,080. The risk reward ratio was here one, two, three. And then I decided to trade the downward trend with the rest of position. So my price target is by 50.33. So my stop is far uh, from the current price because I trade here a trend. So I need more space for a correction, for a trend correction. How I manage this open position, I show in my daily trading plan. And this trading plan I post in membership area and also in telegram channel let's have a look at the next trade lean hugs also here we got a sell signal as you can see and i used the correction from the last week for a short entry so i opened here a short position with eight short contracts i'm still in a position the position is still open so and i have to move here a my stop because the current trend structure shows me that the probability for a trend change from downward trend to upward trend increased on Friday and therefore I have to manage my open position to decrease the risk and also to save my open profit. How I want to do it, I will show you in my trading plan. Next market, Canadian dollar. I traded here against commercials. So there is some certain situation in the market when I trade against the commercials. And this is situation like this. As you can see, we got here a buy signal based on CUT data analysis, but the trend continued and we decided to trade against commercials after the contra CUT signal was activated. I waited for a correction and opened a short position in direction of downward daily trend. As you can see here, the position is still open. So the price target is 0 0.71645. The stop loss is in the market. We will see what will happen next week. In the rest of the markets from the watch list, I didn't do any trades because I didn't get my entry pattern so because uh, the market uh, didn't follow uh, my scenario or like here we had on the watch list Canadian dollar and Australian dollar both markets are correlated and therefore I had to open a position only in one of both markets and I opened a position in Canadian dollar therefore no trade in Australian dollar. I started to trade the small account again because my account was blocked. I tried to log in into account from abroad, from the other country. Then my account was blocked because security reason. It took a lot of effort to get my access again. When I was blocked, I couldn't trade and therefore I decided to switch my broker, um, to uh, change my broker. I switched from trade station to interactive broker because the interactive broker has 
no problem if I try to log in from other country. I hope my trading on small account will not be interrupted again by technical issues. Uh, last week we got here a trading opportunity in Canadian dollar because the stop loss per contract was small and this was okay for this small trading account. The account size is $30,700. So, and I opened here a position, a short position with two short contracts. Now the position is $421 in open profit. As you can see, I started in the last trading week with an empty portfolio and I end the trading week with six short contracts in cotton. The weekly trading result is $2,230. This is uh, the account size. The account size is $434,000. And this is my trade in cotton. As you can see, I had here a price target after I was triggered in this market, 84.14. The plan was to close half of position by this price target, but I was filled only with two contracts. Therefore, I am six con short contracts still in position. So I try to close uh, the other two contracts by the same price target. For other half of position, the price target is 81.21. That's it for today. Thank you very much for your time. Please remember risk and money management is the key to success in trading. And I hope you will enjoy new membership. If you are not member yet, under this video in description, you will find all the information how to become a member or how to subscribe to my trading plans from CUT1 Trading Strategy. I wish you happy trading next trading week. See you next Sunday. You're Max Schultz.